Last night, while I was trying to create some smart playlists in Record Buddy, which is uh, some software I'm going to show here eventually, I created a real problem. So, in this episode, we're going to see what that problem is and if I can uh, fix it quickly. Holy grail. Last night, I was uh, trying to create some smart playlists in Record Buddy 2, which is some software I'm going to talk about in another video. Um, I was trying to do a couple of things. One, I had this folder of all 90s music. You'll notice I have over 4,000 songs. So I wanted to do a better job of sorting this out. Um, so, in Record Buddy, I had it sort by key, and it created a smart list, so everything that has a key of 1A uh, is sorted there, is put there, everything that's in 2A is here, and so on. I also had it recreate, um, or do some smart lists based on BPMs. And ratings. So, for example, everything, all my songs that are 90 to 99 that have a rating of 4 or 5 get put in this list, independent of genre. However, so that part worked great. That software does a great job um, and it created those smart lists and actually put it into the collection where I noticed that things had started to get screwed up sorry is uh, in my older playlists so you'll notice that 2014 hip-hop is empty house is empty instrumental um, so that's a bit of a problem now for the newer stuff you know, like 2016, you'll see I have some stuff there. Um, if we got come here for two seconds. So for things like 2016, I've already shown you how I organize everything. So everything goes by the year and then the genre. So it's very easy to recreate all of these playlists if I have to do that and I will if I if I need to however if we go back at something like 2013 if we go back to something like 2013 you'll notice I do not have this uh, nearly as organized as an, or had it all figured out to the same degree um, that I did for 2015 and 16. So, recreating, you know, all of this stuff is going to be a pain in the butt. So, what can I do? Um, I am going to go to my native instruments folder which is in documents uh, native instruments which ha and you'll and I have their ultimate kit so that's why you see all of this in here um, one cool thing about tractor is every time a new version comes out it creates a new folder and so we're on 2.11 which is the latest version copies everything over so you'll notice you know, I have all my collections from the 210. We're going to go to 211 since this is the latest version. This file right here, this collection.nml, uh, um, has the latest version of um, my tractor collection. The problem I'm going to have. And you'll notice, too, if I come here, this one is 35. Thankfully, 
Uh, Tractor keeps a good number of backups, so it assumes that at some point you're going to screw up. So I have one from uh, uh, the 19th, and I'm going to copy this into this one. Now that we've done that, we got a couple of options. Um, I'm going to delete this guy, so I'm going to move this to the trash. We're going to call this one old. And I'm going to take this guy here. Yeah, take that one. Duplicate it. Move it down here. We need to be careful. This time. Make the now that one's the default. Hey, look at that. It's all back. If I really wanted to get back all of those playlists that I just had, I could take this one. I could save this one. Let's bring this up. I could save this one. open up this one, this collection, which had that 90s plus all the keys, and then export out all of those playlists, then reopen, make this one the default again, and then add those playlists in. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do that. So, that's essentially it.